So if you've been discarded by a narcissist or you have left a situation with a narcissistic person, have you noticed how they seem to hate you? A lot of times a narcissistic person will start acting like they completely hate you after the discard or after you've left them. My name is Lise Colucci and I am here to help you understand and heal from toxic and narcissistic people and narcissistic relationships. So why does a narcissist do that? What's going on with that? First of all, the narcissist needs to maintain the mask. They need to maintain the way they present themselves and the way they want the world to see them as the truth, their narrative, okay? You know the real truth. If you've been with one long enough to have the discard happen even, okay? You've seen a different side of that person. You've seen the truth of who they are. They cannot have the world knowing that truth. So if they cast you as the bad guy and they act like they hate you, you've unmasked them and they know it. They maintain a control over you if they know you're upset by their hatred. If they know they're getting to you, they're affecting you in some way, doesn't have to be a good way, could be a bad way or a hateful, hurtful way, then they have control and that gives them supply. Perhaps you've crossed a line and you've let people know who they are or you've let the narcissist know you know who they are. Perhaps that line, which is actually just communication, right? They can't handle. Remember that narcissists don't feel as we feel. They feel only in relationship to how it makes them feel. We feel about things, how it relates to us, plus how it relates to other people. We know that if we're in a relationship and we leave the relationship, that other person's probably going to be sad and we do our best to make it as amicable as we can, right? In a healthy breakup, so to speak. With a narcissist, they don't care about you at all. They only care about how things affect them. If you've left them, or if they've left you and they're leaving that Hoover door open and you're not begging to have them back, they just are insulted. And they think you should be begging them to come back. When a narcissist feels like they can no longer control you, they attack. It is such good supply to have this negative interaction with an ex for a narcissistic person. It keeps the door open long enough and they can go on for a long period of time so that if they choose to Hoover, there's access to you. Sounds twisted and backwards, but really what happens then if a year down the line, they're suddenly make amends, so to speak, start acting like they're a different person. Oh, they see the light. They want you to fight your way back into their good graces. Oftentimes they are just sitting there waiting for you to beg and plead and fawn. They need to be the one not in the wrong and they want to prove they are not abusive. Some of them literally just don't care. Some narcissistic people will just, will just drop people, walk away, and not care if they ever see that person again. They literally don't care about anyone. If they're in full-blown devalue mode, they're going to continue this anger, hatred thing for a while. And then sometimes they will flip it around and act nice again to get a different supply. It's just keeping the devalue love bomb cycle going. Remember also that narcissists love to punish. Is all of this making sense to you? Thumbs up if so, you guys, because the narcissistic person's love of punishment have you noticed how punitive many narcissistic people are? You can do the smallest thing and they will have to chastise you, criticize you, and make force you to make amends over the smallest things. And then they have a complete double standard for the way they act. Sometimes narcissistic people really just can't stand not being needed. So they are throwing a temper tantrum when they're hating you. When you're not with them, you're against them. What I mean by this in narcissist language is if you're not on their side, their cheering squad, having their backs, basically enabling them, then you're against them in their mind, which means you're a threat. And another thing is the narcissistic person cannot stand any change in you. So when you start getting stronger and you start setting boundaries with them and you start speaking to them the way they deserve to be treated, which is kind of gray rocked, right? Or not at all they get angry. They start thinking you're the problem because in their world you are. You're supposed to follow the rules, you guys. When you're with a narcissistic person, they expect you to follow the rules that they make. It's not healthy. That is why these are toxic relationships. So if you need help with any of this, check out the information in the main description of every video for coaching, group coaching, or peer support.